Cheer more in Baltimore as the road to the Final Four kicks off with the Colonial Athletic Association Men's Basketball Championship, March 6th through 9th at the Royal Farms Arena. A new money-saving fan package includes a room at your choice of hotels, two harbor passes, two admissions to the Power Play at Live Fan Fest, and an option to purchase discounted tickets for the championship. Come for the tourney and stay for the fun. Score your fan package today at Baltimore.org. For the 89th time, James Madison University and the College of William and Mary get ready to battle. The latest showdown is today in Harrisonburg, Virginia at the always raucous Convocation Center. He is more than just a shooter now. Here is Jackson Kent off the curl, buries the three. Doesn't he look more like a high school sophomore than a college sophomore? Is that us getting old? <laughs> and Daniel Dixon, there's the range we talked about. And that's what Matt Brady was talking about, his improvement from freshman year to sophomore year. You can see what kind of upside he's got. This whole team has upside, no seniors. Bang, that fadeaway patented jump shot. Which Tony Shaver and most of the coaches in this league believe he can. He's going to have to be a point guard. Jackson Kent, there's a good answer out of Matt Brady's timeout, his second three. For all the reasons that coaches prefer man-to-man, -man, rebounding being one of them. But if you're gonna play zone, you gotta know where the shooters are, and there's another shooter. Omar Pruitt's in the CAA. Not as big as Samuel, who's been in the NBA for about uh, 20 years now, it feels like. The now, there's a shot where I would have said bad shot. <laughs> double-digit points, double-digit rebounds, but 10 assists for a guy playing the four spot? Oh, he's feeling it. Boy, a he's friendly really roll in an unfriendly cool. building. Curry saved the layup by knocking it out of bounds. And it doesn't matter. No, absolutely. <laughs> well, it didn't take long for, and on the run, it's the Dukes. Top to Dixon. Bang! Daniel Dixon, more three-point shooting for William and Mary. And he said the practice yesterday was awful. But they had a very spirited shoot around today, worked on a lot of different things. And they have just not missed as Omar Pruitt, the latest to drain a three. Understandably back in the game, as is Joey McLean. Jackson pass. with a feed. And there's the finish inside by Dalamir. And Thornton actually misses a shot. Wow, his first three-point miss of the day made his first four. Winston Gray's wide open, got the three! See Joey McLean, number four, back in. Another A little turnover. miscommunication, looking for Dallenbear. It's turned, and Tarpey finishes at the other end. He jinxed him. There's their headline right here. But it didn't take long to get a steal. <laughs> and who else? Terry Tarpey. Oh, oh he missed the dunk. Tried to be spectacular, looking for a foul. Gray's open for three. That could be a big turn on this crowd. Get into that little exchange. Well, that might give him some light because Curry can't get it to fall. Gray with a season high four three pointers, three of them in this half. And there's Jackson Kent with a big answer. So, John, here we go, get it ready. When you see an available shot, you almost have to take it. There's a turnover by Thornton. Drove in the lane into two guys. It was McLean with the steal. Jackson Kent got it! A three pointer. And Ron Curry could have made it really interesting. Jackson Kent does! Made it more interesting. Now it's 15. Perimeter near the foul line. Foul line extended then from the corner. Dixon, he's got a great He's good release. from everywhere. <laughs> he has got an unbelievable release, a beautiful rainbow. Point is, he's played really well the last two games. Another turnover. And Tarpey, the man with the triple-double in their last meeting. There's a smart, sign of a right smart there. player. Didn't try to dunk that one, yep. did he? No. His <laughs> back-to-back wins over Hofstra and Northeastern is not a small thing in this league. No. But he did remind his team after the season, Daniel Dixon, just leisurely just tossing another three. Get me the ball. Yeah. And so for the fourth time in their last five games, William and Mary cracks the 80-point plateau. They come away with an 84-65 win against one of their arch rivals, the JMU Dukes. Tony Shaver now sees his club improve to 14-7, and seven, and more importantly, 8-2, and two, and most likely first place by themselves in the CAA. We'll